Welcome back to the Paynes Creek Killings. Let's explore the second floor of the Paynes Creek Community Hospital. Two oh one. That's Ah, oh, Trish was in room two oh three. I'm just glancing over at my notes right now. So not that one. I can't reach this one. Uh, I'm sure there's nothing in it, right? Two oh three. From Harold S. Harold S. Mason, these last few months gave me time to reflect for quite some time. When one comes to the understanding that soon my body will be no more and I will return to the earth, the question arises of the purpose we fragile beings have in this life. How my soul yearns for those joyful moments with loved ones when I was ignorant of such incomprehensible matters. And now I sit here, just waiting for death, knowing that I will never have a second chance. If only I could express what... I feel to my wife, kids, people I once called friends. Maybe I can feel comfort. My body may be old to travel, but at least I can send something to them. A nurse has helped me prepare a package to send. I'll see to it personally that it gets dropped off. Once my body feels better. The last efforts of a sick old man. Why would the bathroom be locked? What? There isn't even a keyhole for it. I mean, the only way you can lock a bathroom is from the inside, right? That's odd. Is there somebody in there? Searching through this place. Look, like everything's open. Toothpaste. Herb flavor? Herb toothpaste? What, like oregano toothpaste or something? That sounds disgusting. Dear Nicole, I was so glad when I got your letter. I am sorry too, and 
Thank you, letting me chose where we bury our time capsule. I have a few ideas in my mind, and I want you to pick one for me. Oh. <gasps> Can I dig up a time capsule? Playground? Is that blood? What the hell? Okay. Playground, behind hunting cabin, or cemetery? Huh. Playground, behind hunting cabin, or cemetery? Is it marked where it would be exactly? Or is behind the cabin as specific as it gets? It looks like there's no X marks to spot or anything. Hmm. And there was going to be a number four, but I don't see any number four represented on here. Unless it's the church, which is kind of there. Dunno. Anyway, I should probably take this down, because maybe I can actually dig it up somewhere, although I don't have a shovel yet. But maybe I'll find one. Maybe you don't even need a shovel. You probably need a shovel. Playground, behind hunting cabin, cemetery. Time capsule possible locations. Behind cabin, cemetery, cemetery. Oh, I guess that's an A, not an E. Cemetery or playground? Oh, how do you spell it then? Crematory? What? Never mind, close enough. Dear Hannah, I heard from my mom that you're not feeling well and have to be in the hospital from now on. So I wrote this letter to say I'm really sorry for what I said to you last time. I just wanted our time capsule to be perfect. When you get better, you can put anything you want in our time capsule and you can decide where we should bury it. I promise. I really hope you get well soon. I miss you. Please write back to me. P.S. You can pass your letter to my mom. She works in the hospital as a nurse. Hmm. Is heaven real? I don't get lost here. Let's go this way first. Many different staircases. I wonder if any of them lead to an alternate entrance to the basement. I don't think so. According to the map, there's only that one. I'm so expecting it to be locked that it's such a surprise when it's actually not. visited bathrooms. Did I visit these? I guess I did. There's a third floor. Okay, came from there. Let's check 
this way. Or did I just come from... No, I just came from here. Oh, it's getting confusing. I think I've explored everything on the second floor. I think. Just take a quick run through. That leads back to where I originally came from. That's the rehab room. Yeah, okay. Let's go to the third floor. What the heck? Oh. Oh, oh, uh. Oh. I don't want to be up here. Roof entrance, that's where we... The roof is where we saw Sophia in that picture. area. Why would you need to wear a hard hat up here? Hmm? Broken ledge. Someone could fall and die. Uh... I get the impression someone did fall and die here. Break open one of these things and crawl into a vent and sneak into a room. Nah, it's not that sort of a game. Hmm. Was there more stairs that lead up to a third floor? Let me find the other stairs. Where were they? I think over here, right? Yeah, so it's only that one that goes up to the third floor. We can check the hospital map. It doesn't even list the third floor. I guess because the third floor is just the roof. But uh, number two. Stairs A, B, and C. So we just saw two of the stairs and then the other the third stairs, I guess, where I originally came up to this place from. Yeah, so I have no idea how I'm supposed to turn on the power. But, I may be able to access the back of this place if this door opens. Yes, okay, good. So we're not done exploring the hospital just yet. What the? Whoa! Uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no, what just happened? I was jiggling on the ground, couldn't figure out what that was, and then I jiggled up into a tree branch. What? How does that even happen? I kind of want to make it happen again now. Oh, oh, oh. Something about this one spot. It's a special spot. Looking for Sophia on the rooftops. Pretty sure the picture was taken from back there. Let's go take a look. Oh yeah, it was definitely taken from here. No, Sophia. To 
defeated by the chains. I mean, nobody's looking. Why don't you just go in between them? Okay, well, I can't think of anything else to do inside of the hospital, so I think that perhaps just leaves me with Wanda's home key. Let me take another quick sweep through the hospital, though. Oh, 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 hey. Hi, Sophia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, you're not going away this time. What about now? There we go. Okay, I just found something. I was looking around the playground for the time capsule. I went this way. And then I went over here looking for the time capsule. If you remember, this is the spot that had the open bush, and I thought I wasn't supposed to be here because that tree looks obviously messed up. And you can sort of go this way, but you hit a wall. Well, then I went this way. This way you can go, and there's something over here. And I know it has nothing to do with this, I'm just taking a look at this. I found this. Open. Is that the time capsule? There's no way that's the time capsule, right? What is that? Four digits. What the heck? Well, that deserves a note. Four-digit combo to mysterious, mis, mysterious. I can't spell mysterious. Mysterious red box in tree stump. I'm trying to think of whose this could even be. Again, surely it's not the time capsule, right? It's not a capsule, it's just... Well, I mean, you know, a box can be a time capsule, sure. But it's not buried. Could the chess pieces be for that? I don't see why they would. I'm just trying to think if, like, the numbers were red, which might be the same color as the box, but I don't remember the colors of the chess pieces. Anyway, let me keep looking for the time capsule. I just found another interesting thing. I was looking around the church. I just came from the cemetery. The church was another location that wasn't actually explicitly listed on the possible time capsule places, but it looked like it was kind of drawn on the map. So just searching around here, and look what I found just to the right of the entrance. One, two, oh, three. Four digit passcode. Most likely not for that red box I just found, I doubt it. I mean, it could be, but probably for something inside of the church. I know it can't be for that confessional box, because that's six digits. Oh my god! Oh my god! It is for the box! I tried it on Matthew's desk, and I tried it on the sheriff filing cabinet. And I just tried it on this, and it worked. Holy crap! Is this the time capsule, then? No, that's definitely not the time capsule. From Matthew Brooks to Sophia Miller. Happy birthday? No. I got really lucky here. I got really lucky. 
Because the only reason I put any sort of a connection between this box and the church is because of the time capsule, but this has nothing to do with it. Dear Sophia, please wait for my return. Love, Matthew. Every moment I spent with you is like a beautiful dream come true. Happy birthday. What the hell? Matthew was involved with... Wait, Sophia... Wasn't... Oh, hold on, hold on, let's go to the notes here. Wasn't Sophia Matthew's cousin? Uh, I guess I'll just search for Sophia. Mm, Sophia is Matthew's cousin, was a maid at the mansion. Yeah. I also took down this exact note here, too, especially the date, because I feel like that might be important. 3 18 In fact, I wonder if that could be the password to the confessional box. Huh. Dear Sophia, it's been quite a while. <laughs> it's been quite a while since I last wrote to you. I've been busy. I hope you are, too. Father Calvin has been guiding me how to be a man of God, to grow my faith for the Lord and compassion for the people. When I see people who have no beds to sleep and no food to eat, my heart goes out to them. I wish I could do something more. Paints Creek has been very quiet recently. Nothing much goes on in this small town. Father Calvin is handing me more and more responsibilities. It seems like he might be retiring soon. He even gave me his favorite desk in the study room. I changed its code... 0318. Yeah, wait a minute. 0318. That actually is that date, isn't it? Sort of. I mean, 0318 is the day and then the month. 0318. Not the year for some reason, but... Huh. Anyway, nice. 0318. Go to Matthew's desk. It's definitely a to-do. I got really lucky with this box. Matthew and I suppose the church too, I'll tag. Uh, which was the day you came to the orphanage. Ah, yeah. Oliver is still Paints Creek event photographer. Charles and Vivian are running their business as usual. Trisha is seven now. She's really smart and loves to hang out with her dad. Dorothy's the same old Dorothy that we all love. Bernard's still the reliable butler. I don't think he'll ever be replaced. As for me, well, I'm still here. Waiting for your return. Do you remember the church attic? Well, I spent most of my free time there now doing wood carving. It helps me relax. Hey, I, I even got pretty good at it. Sometimes I would think of you and how we spent our time together. I'm not sure if you ever realized how I felt towards you. Since you left, I keep writing these letters, but never mailed them. Well, I don't know where you are staying right now. At the same time, writing to you makes me feel that we are close to each other. Today is the sixth year that you left Payne's Creek. I still don't know why you left. All I want to say is, take care. This will be my last letter. One day, I hope to see you again. Okay. So, Matthew was in love with Sophia? His cousin? But wait, I, I'm a little bit confused. That was the date that you came to the orphanage. day you came to the orphanage? I don't... I don't understand. Why was Sophia at the orphanage? I don't get it. I'm a little bit lost on this one, but it does seem that Matthew was in love with 
what, as far as I know, is his cousin. That's pretty fucked up. Also, um, what did it say? Uh, today is the sixth year that you left Payne's Creek. So, I'm thinking that is very possibly a motive for murder if Matthew was in love with Sophia and then at some point found out what had happened, what Vivian had done and the others. That is very much a motive. And as far as we know, Matthew is still alive, right? Scott Brooks is dead. But Matthew doesn't have a grave. Well, at least Matthew doesn't have a grave in the main part of the cemetery. It's true, though, that we haven't gotten to that other part that's locked. So, who knows? Okay. Story thickens, huh? So, I should note this. Seems that Matthew was in love with Sophia. Didn't know why she left. She didn't actually leave, of course. In fact, she's still here. Kind of. A uh, possible motive for murder if he found out what happened. Also, um, why was Sophia at the orphanage? Don't understand that. Not sure if it matters. And we'll tag Matthew and Sophia. Should I add an orphanage label? I guess so. Okay, anything more? It's a whole pile of notes, but I think those are the only ones I can read. I mean, yeah, there's a ring here, so obviously he was going to marry her. Matthew, isn't that your cousin? Hey, what the fuck? Alright then. Let's go open up that desk. Alright, 0318. Diary. Matthew Brooks. All right, Matthew. May 13th, 1995. Oh, yeah. I visited Scott today. I couldn't believe what he said. How could Sophia be dead? He did find out. Ooh, he's right up there as, like, the top suspect. He's definitely the top suspect now. How could Andrew, Henry, and Vivian have killed her? Did Dorothy know? How about Wanda or Charles? Did they know? Why didn't anyone tell me? I visited Sophia's grave today. It was just a wooden cross that Scott made. There was no name on it. I placed some flowers in front of it. She always had a liking for flowers. So that's that grave. She always had a liking for flowers. And wasn't it Dorothy that took care of Sophia for a while, and Dorothy had tons of flowers all over the place. I don't know if there's any connection there, but lots of flower paintings and stuff like that. Also, let me just stop reading that for a second. I believe I have a picture of the grave. Yes, those are obviously fresh flowers. I don't think anyone else would know that that's Sophia's grave, other than Matthew. Matthew's the one that's been placing flowers. This was written in 1995. The current date is 1999, so it would appear that Matthew is still alive and has just very, very recently left more flowers. In fact, I wonder if that's Matthew's car that's right out front of the cent uh, in front of the cemetery. And remember how the cemetery was unlocked when I got there? And how on the sheriff's window there was the passcode, I guess, left for Matthew? The passcode to the cemetery? 
Huh, in fact, I still have that picture. But if the car's left there, then where's Matthew? Anyway, let's keep reading. June 4th. We had mass today. Vivian and Henry were there. Andrew, as usual, didn't come. All I could think of when I see them was whether they really killed Sophia. As they praised the Lord throughout the ceremony, or throughout the ser sermon, I felt sick to the stomach. I couldn't bear to see their faces. What should I do now? I know I should forgive them, but it's so difficult. I'm dying inside. I wish I never visited Scott. I wish I never heard what he said. I wish I could just forget everything. I need to talk to Andrew. I need him to confess. June 6th. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm almost certain that it's Matthew that killed Vivian and also burned down Andrew's home. Let's cross-reference this date. I need to talk to Andrew. I need him to confess. June 6th, 1995. Do I have the newspaper article about the fire? June 8th, 1995. At close to midnight last night, so that would be last night on June 7th, so on June 7th, the fire was... or they were found with themselves charred. And this is on the 6th. Yep. Yep. This needs a note. Matthew visited Andrew one day before the... Or, no, sorry. Matthew wrote about visiting Andrew one day before Andrew was found burnt to death. Matthew wanted a confession from Andrew. Almost certainly, Sir Tibnley killed him. Killed. Probably killed Vivian too? I mean, I don't think Matthew killed everybody. Right? Because there's a lot of people dead, including Trisha and Scott. Like, I don't think he killed everybody. Trisha, Scott, and Vivian, and Andrew? No, there's got to be other people responsible for murders. Andrew. Andrew's home. Andrew's home. Matthew. Vivian. I guess I'll tag Sophia too. Not explicitly mentioned, but that's what the whole thing was about. What about... What about the full date? Did I delete it? No, uh, so the, the note, remember the Dear Sophia, please wait for my return, love, March 18th, 1975. What if that's the code for the confession box down here? Yeah, so, 0, 03, 18, 75. Hmm. I feel like there might be more clues in the notes, though. Let me go through them. Well, no luck with the confessional box. I was trying this Matthew's letter to Sophia, this date here. I was trying to use that as the password. 
And it also says that today's the sixth year that you left Payne's Creek, so I also tried entering this six years ago, thinking maybe that was the password. So this, just with the year, dialed back six years, and that didn't work either. The only lead I can follow up on now that I can think of is Wanda's Home Key at 43 Silver Lake Boulevard. The store looks kind of special, so I'm assuming this is going to work. Yes. Ooh, we get creepy music for here. Well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to explore Wanda's home 